Hello guys, are you looking to study for free in the United States and you're looking for a university which has zero application fee for both undergraduate and master's programs, a university which offers automatic scholarships up to $31,000 per year and also test optional meaning IATS, SAT, ACT are not mandatory. Then I got you covered in this video. All you have to do is sit back as we explore this prestigious university in USC, which offers all the benefits I listed above. Free application, test optional, and automatic scholarships to international and domestic students. Before we take a deeper dive, do wait to hit the like button, share this video, and subscribe for more international opportunities like this. My name is Eugene, and you're welcome to the homeland of international opportunities. Join me guys, let's explore this interesting opportunity at University of Dayton. This is a university with no application fee for both undergraduate and graduate admission. So you can see right here, no application fee and it is also test optional. That is quite interesting. So you don't have to bother about SAT or ACT. And when your first language or your previous study is in English, you do not also have to bother about IATS. As if that is not enough, they also offer automatic scholarships. So you can see right here, no separate scholarship application. Admitted students are automatically considered for up to $31,000 merit scholarship per year. So I think that is quite interesting. Right here, we are on the undergraduate admission page and we are going to explore both the undergraduate and the graduate admission. So because some, most of the universities I've looked at in US, they offer free application to undergraduate students but not the same to graduate students. So let's take a look at the graduate piece. So you see that this university actually offers free application to graduate students. So right here at the graduate admission page, if you come down a little bit, you can come to the online application and you can see this question right here. Is there an application fee with my online application? And the answer is our online application does not have a fee for domestic and international students. That is quite interesting. In the course of this video, I will show you and teach you how to apply to this university. We're going to take a look at that step by step. Do wait to stick with me as I'm going to share with you interesting tips that you need to know as you look into applying to this university in USA. So right now you can see for the undergraduate admission, the deadline to apply to this university for early action is November 1st. And I recommend that you apply with the early action deadline as this will give you more chances to be considered for the automatic scholarship. So make sure to apply before November 1st. But anyway, if you do not meet that deadline, then you can apply before um, 1st of February for regular decision. But put in your best to apply by November 1st because it is not every day you come across a university with no application fee and offers a scholarship up to $31,000 per year. In the course of this video, we are going to take a look at the admission requirements so that you know how to prepare for your application. So make sure to stick with me. And right now, let's take a look at the courses or programs offered in this university for both undergraduate and graduate studies. And do not forget, in the course of this video, I'm also going to show you the scholarships in this university and also graduate assistantship positions um, in this university for graduate students. And for undergraduate students, you'll be automatically considered for up to $31,000. And that is quite interesting. So right now, let's check out the programs. You, all you have to do is come over to the right hand side and then you can click on the menu button. And thereafter, you can go over to academics. And thereafter, you can go over to academics. When you click on academics, you're going to get some menu at the right hand side. And what you have to do is click on program listing. So once you click on program listing, it's quite simple. You're going to come over to this page where you see pursue your passion. And if you come down a bit, you can see the program finder where you can actually search for the program that you're interested in. Or you can just come down to look at the programs alphabetically. So here you can find all programs, both um, bachelor's programs and master's programs. What you have to do is to look at the subjects you are interested in. And if you click on the drop down menu on this subject, you can find if the program has bachelor's program and um, master's program. For example, if you come over to computer engineering and you click on the drop down menu, you can see bachelor's 
and you can also see masters and then you can see the bpm whichever you're interested in you can click on the program to explore the admission requirement for this video i'm going to click on the masters in engineering program as an example and then if you come over to the course page you can see a lot of information about the program you can see the information about the faculty and staff members and also contact details right here you're also going to find information about the areas of research to know if what you're interested in is part of it and if you also come down on the page um, very importantly you're going to find the admission requirements and right here you can see what you need to submit for admissions for example official academic record for your previous studies like your certificates or transcript You'll, you will also need like three letters of recommendation from professors or employers you would need a personal statement or resume as you can see right here results from gre are not required for, for graduate studies you must check with the course you are looking at to know if the GROE or GMAT is necessary or not. For most of the courses, it is not necessary. GRO, GMAT are not necessary. And then you can also see course specific deadlines. Also, make sure to take note of the course specific deadlines. And now let's talk about scholarships and financial um, assistance. Just in the case for this particular program, you can also see in each of the courses there's financial assistance, for example, graduate assistantship as you can see right here for this particular course we are using as an example you can see there's a lot of funding opportunities financial assistance opportunities um, in this university so for example you can see right here school of engineering graduate assistantship there are informations right here and then you can also get more information when you click on the link um, showing right here and then there's also the research assistantship and you just have to read through in for this particular research assistantship you are going to receive monthly stipend uh, support throughout your um, research or program and also there's this teaching assistantship graduate students can receive teaching assistantship from the department for helping professors with undergraduate courses and laboratories so right here you can see a, a, a link to contact department chairs for details so you want to click on that link and get more information on this particular teaching assistantship. They have also listed out some other financial opportunities right here that you want to look at. Down here, we have other scholarship opportunities. You can see right here, we offer um, tuition scholarship and assistantship to exceptional incoming candidates. So contact department chair for details. So in most of these cases, you have to contact the department chair uh, you want to pitch your own case and get response from the department chair so you if you are interested in the full tuition scholarship what you need to do is to contact the department chair if you are applying to this particular program so depending on the course that you are applying to you are going to get different types of financial aid different type of financial opportunities and assistance um, for that particular program so i therefore strongly advise that you apply to this university so like you know my name is eugene and this is the homeland of international opportunities if you've gotten any value so far from this video why not hit the like button it is very important for the youtube algorithm so please hit the like button and drop a comment where you're watching from if you've gotten to this point and also let me know if you're going to apply to this opportunity and if you don't subscribe to this channel, why not be a member of this channel? Hit the subscribe button because this is the homeland of international opportunities. And since we are talking about graduate assistantship um, positions, there is this particular specific page for assistantship and fellowship. I'm also going to leave the link in the description box. Um, on this page, you can read more about the graduate assistantship, as you can see right here and fellowship available to graduate students. So you can see right here, um, a limited number of graduate assistantship and fellowships are available to graduate students. So you just read it up and right here, you can see how to apply for these funds and some specific um, schools and faculties where you can find this particular assistantship positions are also given right here. So you can click on them to get more information about the assistantship. And in case you are stuck, there's a contact information right here. Um, you can see Office of Recruitment and Admission. There's a name right here and there's also an email link right here. If you click on this, it's going to show you the email or go directly into your email so that you can send a message. So you can ask questions 
about how to get these scholarships, how to get this assistantship, because you have to be proactive. You have to um, send emails to get more inquiries and put in your applications. So guys, just so you know, we are still going to go into the financial aid um, session of this university. We have not even gotten there, but right now let's talk about how to apply for admission. So guys, this is the very first page we started from. And right here, um, uh, there's the link to go into the application process. What you have to do is to come over to this part. You can see apply today and we're going to click on that. And once you are here, this goes into the undergraduate admission page and you can read through. You can see right here that you can start your journey to apply using the common app or the UDIS app. That is the that is the University of Dayton's application portal. So the links are all here that would guide you to apply successfully. So the first link right here is the common app. If you click on this, it takes you to the common app where you can register. We're going to look at that. And then we have the UD app and then we have the admission process and admission resources. So right here, we take a look at the admission process. I'm going to open this on a new tab so we can take a look at it. So right on this page, you can see for ad undergraduate application and admission process, what you need to do. The good news is that you can submit your free application using the common app or the University of Dayton's app. So um, what you will need is your official high school transcript. And this is for undergraduate anyway. Official ACT or SAT scores are not really required. But if you um, want to submit that, you are free to add it to your application. As you see, the University of Dayton is test optional. And if there are some official materials that cannot be submitted ele electronically, then this should be sent by your school um, counselor or whoever is responsible by May to the university address, as you can see right here. So once you have these basic documents set, all you need to do is to head over to your preferred um, application portal. For this video, we are going to take a look at the University of Dayton's application portal. So I want to click on this. It takes us to the admission portal. So right here, it is quite similar to every other um, portal. You just need to sign up. Click on the sign up button and fill in the information um, required. Thereafter, you can log in with your username and your password. So once you are in, all you need to do is to fill in basic information like your name, your address, or other information, upload your documents, your high school transcript. So whichever documents that you have or that is necessary, you have to upload. And once you feel like everything is good, you click on the submit button to submit your admission application for free. Right now, Let's talk about graduate admission process. So there's this page for graduate admission. I'm also going to leave in the description box. Um, it contains all the information you need. So um, most especially the frequently asked questions. It is very important that you take a look at the frequently asked questions. They are um, important answers that will guide you in this application process. So right here, you can see very important financial aid also, um, what students what financial aid is available for students. If you are using the desktop to access this page, these are all drop down menus. So you can see, if you click on the drop down, you can get some more information and links like opportunities to visit the financial page. We're also going to take a look at that later in this video. Now you can see how do I apply for financial aid. You can get information about that. You can also get information about how do I get in touch with the financial aid counselor what does it cost to attend UD? Then when it comes to admission, how do I apply for graduate admission at um, University of Dayton? So the information is all here. You have to apply online. The very first thing is to check out the programs that you are interested in, check out the admission requirements. And after that, you want to head over to the application portal. So a lot of information right here, deadlines, also, when it comes to GROE, um, GMAT, you can see right here, am I required to submit a score from graduate entrance exams such as GROE, GMAT? So the, quite, the, the answer is quite straightforward. Most of the courses do not require this test course, but 
just make sure to check for your course because um, maybe some of them might require GROE or GMAT. And then when it comes to the online application, I already showed you this. You do not have to pay application fee that is written out um, right here. So once you are ready to apply, there's a link right here to the online application. What you have to do is to click on this, but make sure you have read through all the information on this page, the frequently asked questions as well. So you click on online application and this takes you to this um, online application page. What you have to do is read through this page and when you come down a little bit, you can see admission requirements. So you want to make sure to check out um, the application requirements. So you can check that out. And then you want to come down right here to click on the applications that you are interested in. For example, graduate application for master's program. Then you have to go here. Or if you're looking to do a PhD, then you have to click on doctoral application. But before we go into that, let's take a look at the um, application requirements. So I'm going to click on application requirements for graduate so that you have an idea of what you need. For example, you can see right here, you will need your transcript from your previously attended institutions. And then you also need letters of recommendation. You need a personal statement, resume, um, also samples of work depending on the type of program you're applying to. And if your program requires GRA and GMAT, then you have to provide those. International student might also have some additional requirements, so make sure to hit on the international student page to also check that out. And right here, you can see additional documentation. If you have some additional documents you want to add to your application or you have questions, you can simply send them to this email address right here. We are back to this page and once you come down, you can hit on the graduate application and that takes you to the application portal. And right on the portal, the same thing for undergraduates, you can hit on the sign up button, put in your information and register. And thereafter you can log in to complete the necessary information in the application portal. So that is how to apply. And once you have applied, you can go ahead to apply for other forms of assistance positions and um, for undergraduate students you are automatically considered and even for graduate students you are also automatically considered for some scholarships so right now let's explore the financial aid page of this university so i'll come over to the menu and click on the drop down where we have financial aid so right here you can see financial aid for international students for current and returning for transfer, for law, for undergraduates, for graduates. So you want to explore all this. But for the sake of this video, I'm going to look at the international student first. So let's click on international students. And down on this page, you can see undergraduate students. You can explore international undergraduate tuition, cost, and aid. And if you also come down a little bit, you can explore international graduate students tuition, cost, and aid. So I'm going to click on that for the graduate students. And right here, we are majorly concerned about the financial aid. So I'm going to go down on this page. And right here, you can see types of aid that you can um, explore. For example, assistantship positions, like I've told you already. So you can look at this, read through, and then you can look at academic programs that offer these assistantship positions. And then there's also the summer scholarship. And this is the Empower Scholarship, which will be worth eight thousand us dollars you can also click on the website link right here to explore this particular scholarship and down here you can see additional resources that will help you get some form of financial aid and student loans for international students my advice is that you explore these links um, and try to get the most of this opportunity because you are applying for free. You want to explore all the links to make sure you get at least a funding that will help you achieve your dream in studying in the USA. I went back a little bit so that we can take a look at the undergraduate page as well for the financial aid. So let's take a look at this um, for undergraduate students. I've clicked on the link. And then I'm just going to go down and see the financial aids available. So for the undergraduate student, like I earlier said in this video, you are going to be automatically considered 
for a scholarship worth $30,000 per year. And I think that is really amazing. All students will be automatically considered for this scholarship when they receive your application and the required documents. You can also apply for textbook scholarships worth $4,000 over four years and also the Empower Scholarship, which is also worth $8,000 US dollars. And as well, you can explore additional resources and links that can help you study at this university and help you achieve your dream of studying in the USA. So guys, let me know if this video was helpful. Drop it in the comment section and let me know where you are watching from. And also do not forget to like, share and subscribe to our YouTube channel. This is the homeland of international opportunities. Talking about opportunities, um, if you come over to my YouTube channel, there's a lot of opportunities right here all over the world, in USA, in Canada, in Germany, in um, Australia. So just check it out. There are a lot of opportunities. And if you're interested in a fully funded scholarship to the Netherlands, then you want to watch this video right here because it offers full tuition scholarship visa course and you get a monthly stipend. So if you're interested, click on the video showing on the screen right now and I will see you right in that video.